So this thing is trying to track the eye and it's saying it's it's everywhere around the sun, huh? <gasps> Hello everyone. Franks is here. And welcome back to Outer Wilds. What? What? Did you, uh, episode 13, hold on. That cannon fired that thing. Did that hit this planet? Did it go past us? Uh, normally it fires it off kind of into the distance. That didn't hit us, did it? No. It just went flying past us at a ridiculous speed. There's no way we could catch it. It's already... It's so far gone. Okay, okay. So... I think then what we need to do is to go to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. So that is... Nope, that's the, uh, that's the wrong, the wrong way, that's, so that's the Hanging City. Uh, we want to go to the other pole, if I'm not mistaken. Um, oh, because we also have the Observatory to the Eye of the Universe, right? Yeah, oh, another, there's so many places I want to go and things I want to figure out. Gosh, um, no, we need, because none of the crust is really ruptured apart yet, so. Yeah. This is the crossroads. This is the best place to start, so we'll just start here. I'm fairly certain that there is some major, major... Oh, we can doze off! If we want to go see the interloper, we can just sleep for most of the, of the loop, right? But I don't really want to do that. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to do that. Um, instead, right, Ghost Matter, we're not going there. Instead, let's try to get to the, quant the Tower of Quantum Knowledge early and see if it's still intact. Um, because part of the problem with the last time we got there to check it out was that... Um, the tower was all collapsed and the walkway was pretty much non-existent and we couldn't we couldn't walk there. Ugh, okay. Right, so we have the observatory from the cannon or from the what? That's the hanging city. That's the tower of quantum knowledge. Okay. Well, no. Nope. Nope. Further down. Um, right, so that goes to the Hanging City. Uh, this is going to tell me it's going back up. Gravity Crystal Workshop, right. Gravity Cannon. Um, right, we need to go down. Okay. Whoa! Yeah, careful, careful. I forgot about the, uh, the black hole. We can't just, um... Yeah, we can't just try to jump through stuff. Pieces are already caving in though. We need to we need to make haste. Alright, that's an up elevator. Tower of quantum knowledge, right? Oh, hold on. No, we're not coming back going to. Alright, let's go. Alright. Fairly direct. Straightforward. 
but the last time we were here... Right. That section is broken. It's still broken. There's got to be a way to get up there. take this up like we thought, maybe. Okay, so this takes us pretty darn close to... Uh-huh. Hold on. Could we get there? Hmm. I don't... Wow, once the black hole starts, like, taking you out of commission, it's it's pretty difficult to try to get any sort of upward momentum. Let's reanalyze this. Sur yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've, we've got here... Surface integrity. What does that mean? Is it... Surface integrity for what? Hmm. They want me to launch my scout for some reason. There's a scroll. Don't uh, see a way to get in here. Hmm. I know this is important, though. M multiple places have kind of pointed me here, and I would love to land on the quantum moon. I feel like that's going to be a massive revelation of sorts. Um, hmm. But as you can see, there's multiple breaks in the uh, in the pathway up here, and wait a second. Is that an Ash Twin return warp? No, 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 no. The the Ash Twin warp takes us to. We've done this. Um, it takes us to the uh, Black Hole Forge, right? Hmm. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Preparing to make your first pilgrimage. You need to go... Yeah, wait. Descend the steps to the entrance below. Wait, what? Surface Integrity 42. This gets hit. This gets destroyed. What is moving around in there? Um, so the Quantum Moon... Hold on. So, what is... That's got to be the quantum moon. And which planet it's... No, it looks like it's around Giant's Deep now. No, that's Dark Bramble. See, look, and that's... Hmm. We're here too early as well. 
all these places seem like we, we get there and it's too early. But yet, what are the places that we can go early on to be using our time where we're not here ahead of schedule? Because... Okay, I know, I know. I've got it. So we're just going to go to the observatory. Then we'll return here. If we haven't already wasted too much time. I mean, not wasted, but spent, spent too much time. Let's... Ouch! Vitals critical! Let's return back. Is there something over there? No. Okay. Uh, wait, 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 wait. That's... If we want to go to the observatory, we have to go there from the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Oh, I did that wrong. Okay, that's alright, that's alright. So, we just need to reset it and immediately go right back. No problem. Right, because you can't get to the observatory from here. You can get to... Here, we'll go left this time. Oh, no we won't. They really don't want me to go over to that side. Why is that, I wonder? Surface Integrity 24, we might be able to get in here pretty soon, actually. <laughs> pretty soon, indeed. Um, right, so we need to go up. And then it's the pathway up top here. Over there, right? Yeah, see? Right here. This is what's going to take us to the observatory. And if we can't get there, then it means that this is where we have to spend our early time. Right. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Don't. That does not look right to me. Oh, we have to jump it? Oh, my. Okay, 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 okay. Woo! <laughs> oh. Um. Right? <laughs> um. Do I need to like, yeah, walk down here and and see what's going on here? No, this this picks us up and brings us here. Right. So if we landed on this, all right. So this is saying. We need to go upwards, right, and get a good long running jump here. That's the way I take that to mean. Okay, all right, not so bad, not so bad at all. We could do this. You just have to be really deliberate with our fuel usage and our momentum. Something tells me this path might have been easier before, but maybe not. All right, that's got to be our destination there. Okay. All right, okay. Let's do it. No, 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 darn it. A little too forceful. Hmm. Okay. So we go to the observatory first. 
right away. Certain places you do better going early and certain places you do better going late. Hopefully the observatory... Ooh, 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 easy. Watch the atmosphere. Oh, man. I thought we were going to impact terra firma there a little bit. The autopilot's a little sketchy. Right, so there's the gravity cannon, and I'm fairly certain that that was the other th location it said as we could get to the observatory from the gravity cannon. So... Let us... head down into the gravity cannon. of recalling the shuttle from the quantum moon is important, the Southern Observatory. This is where we want to go, right here. Um, okay, it gets a little weird. Uh, I'm thinking... Either one of these will suffice. Okay, whoa, careful. Hmm. Alright, uh, let's see. There's... right, there we go. Ooh, well you really have to spend a lot of your momentum trying to counteract that black hole, as one would expect. I'm a little shocked that gravity isn't more severe from the black hole, to be quite frank. Okay, so in this one, we're going to have to go up. Yep, okay, we did it. Yes, okay, woof. Oh my. All right, so that's a gravity wall there we can walk up. Look at this place. Let's make sure we're not missing something here. No, this is it, so we need to go over to this wall here. Yep, all right. Yeah. And then we need to go up. Yep, to this one. Oh, look at that. <laughs> this game has some moments, I swear. Mm. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. What am I doing here? Uh, I kind of liked it on this wall better, but I think this is where they want um, things to be. Okay, that looked to be high enough to make it to that platform, so let's just go for it. Yep, yep! Okay, easy. Uh, can we get... Okay, okay, um, so we'll just go up and we'll see what we get momentum-wise. That didn't look very close. Uh, oh, oh, wait, no, we can go up there. Okay, okay. There we go. Right. Now, here we are. Okay. Yes! Victory! Uh, huh. We got more projection stones, tablets. Let's open this door and see where this is. This doesn't... Oh, it's the outside. I'm here, I did it, I put the ship down safely. Um, in that... 
in that the ship went down and I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs and it's like the ship never hit those rocks. One of my better attempts, Feldspar would barely have laughed at me, I bet. That's the good news. The bad news, I haven't found a way inside this structure yet. The door is broken and I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there were one. Probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator try to find a way down. Right, well... Right. Well, color it magical because here we are. And it looked like the quantum moon was just outside, so that's fun. And it didn't change. So we actually lost sight of the quantum moon. Hold on. Okay. I was going to say, what, what's going on there? Do we do the projection stone first? Do we go read this noise first? Do we stay away from that, maybe? That's some interesting stuff. Cassava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant's Deep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit, but one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update. It's now clear there are two different types of cyclone. Mm. Most cyclones on Giant's Deep rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones Cassava typically uses to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. My gratitude, Spire. Kanoi is showing me your handiwork, and I'm intrigued by the secondary type of cyclone, but it was but was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant's Deep. So I very much wanted to make a model. So wait, wait, wait. So it's... rotate clockwise. So clockwise, which is this one, right, picks you up. And counterclockwise shall push you down. Got it. Okay. I'm, I'm understanding of that. Let's see what this is about here. Giant's deep projection stone. Kanoi, Dons, and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. I don't like the sound of that. Kanoi, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. Ugh. Kasava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at the Brittle Hollows Southern Observatory, and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. Kanoi, I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. The trailhead starts at Brittle Hollows Equator. These are like long-range communicators, but they link up with... This is the one... Yeah, this this is the... They're, they're paired up. They... The only place I haven't been able to identify is the one with all the masks. Alright, let's... I don't think I should get on that. This place is taking a lot of hits. Let's... Surface integrity, 100%. Okay, all right, all right, fair enough. All right, we've got a bunch of activated switches and writing in a couple different areas. that noise I'm hearing? Is there like a, a, a leak somewhere? It says 100% surface integrity. How should our methods change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? We know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon. 
So what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. We'd need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Giant's Deep would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch, and it's moonless, except when the quantum moon is visiting. Yes, let's build the cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep. Malloy's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Rami and Pi about the technology they're developing? As we couldn't find the eye's signal using two different devices built for this exact purpose, we should discontinue the search method. So they couldn't find the eye with this observatory either. That's what the cannon around Giant's Deep is for. Hmm. What have we learned thus far in our search for the eye of the universe? Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye's signal to this star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on the Adel Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. Hypothesis, the eye has stopped emitting its signal. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Kasova, Kasava, how can you suggest that? The eye's signal called out to summon us to the star system. I'm aware. I grew up hearing the eye's story, yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around this star system's sun. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. The eye is here? I don't understand. So this thing is trying to track the eye and it's saying it's it's everywhere around the sun, huh? No answers. Just more questions. Okay, I'm I'm intrigued. Uh, but I'm not really closer to to an answer necessarily. Let's uh let's try to get back to our ship. And then we'll go see if the quantum of tower knowledge, or the tower, I'm sorry, the tower of quantum knowledge has successfully had its shell cracked by some of these volcanic uh, charges off of Hollow's Lantern. See, the gravity cannon would sort of be. Yep, and there's the quantum moon yet again. No, that's not what I'm looking for. And that's the pole. And let's see, this is the entrance area. So it would have to we'd have to keep going around the equator here. Well, 
let's just settle down and let's see what the surface integrity is at because it looks like it's still in good shape to me. I wonder if I land my shuttle on that thing. It's all lit up though, but even when I even when I am on it, so here. Because we were able to do this So we were able to do this on on uh look at that. We should at some point go investigate that. That's so they were firing that thing specifically to look for specifically to look for the um by the universe. Huh. You know what I just realized? Hollow's lantern is literally losing. Ugh, you mm, you got me there. Hollow's lantern is literally losing lava as time goes on. Ugh, I don't know why it continues to surprise me when I notice that everything is changing as time goes on here, but. Surface integrity 10%. It's just going to be one more hit, and this thing is going to crack open. Oh no, my ship! That can't be good for it. Surface integrity, 3%. I wonder if this whole thing is going to collapse? <gasps> if this whole thing collapses, then we can go to the white hole station and it will be there. Right? Look how much lower, yeah, the lava is on Hollow's Lantern. That's got me very intrigued that we did not find everything that there was to find on Hollow's Lantern. I thought we'd found the, uh, the golden egg, you know, the silver bullet. I figured, you know, sneaking into that volcano on a whim was it. It was going to be like, oh, it's going to all make sense now, but... And, and look, some of these look different than, than others. Really, when it comes down to it. This place is about to... About to eat it. And I would rather be in my ship when it happens. So that if I do go down... Uh, well, we can always take the white hole station back. Oh, no, I want to see this. Hold on. Yeah, look how much of that is showing. And there's like this weird swirl. I almost wonder if different volcanoes have different things inside of them as the lava level gets lower. Right? Yeah. I'm thinking about this all wrong. I'm thinking that there's certain events we need to do as early as possible. And that those are the important ones. But no. There are certain events I bet we can only do in the final moments. And those are the important ones. Look how long it's taking for the surface integrity to come down. And the star is well in its red giant phase. Hmm. 
Most of Ash Twin is empty. Most of Brittle Hollow is at the White Hole Station. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Here's the plan, right? Gosh, there's so many things that I want to do that now that I realize we need to, we need to actually survive till the end, I'm tempted to just start sleeping at campfires and dozing off, right? Look how much a hollow's lantern is is no longer molten. Orbital probe cannon. The new, more sensitive locator than a mine built in this observatory was unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. Based on their knowledge of the quantum moon, the Namai believed the eye was in a distant orbit around the sun. The Namai decided to stop searching for the eye's signal and instead look for it visually by sending out a deep space probe. There were concerns that the probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. Most cyclones on giant steep rotate clockwise. Right, we know that. So there are a couple of, hey, knucklehead, you need to go back to the Sunless City. You need to go back to the Quantum Moon Locator, the Lake Bed Cave, and the Construction Yard. I understand. I do. I do well and truly understand. However, look at how some of these volcanic, like, meteors, they're just, they're just gone. There it is. Oh, it is going. It is going. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. 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 Hold on. We need to This was this was the moment we were waiting for. We just need to identify it now. Um, it's one of these, one of these. Boom. Got it. Exactly. Exactly. Hold on, hold on. We probably don't have a ton of time left, so... Uh... Projection stone. Oh, where is it? I don't see it. Okay, it's gotta be up, right? No, there is a scroll here, though. Okay. But we're going to take that. Let's keep going up. Stop. Stop. Let's come back down. Stop. Stop. Oh, everything is just so... If you're here to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, you're almost prepared to set out on this deeply significant journey. Before you do, pause and remember your history. We make this journey not only for ourselves, but also to honor the members of our clan who came before us, those who, after the crash that brought them to this star system, became stranded on Brittle Hollow and Ember Twin with no communication between these two groups of survivors. These Nomai looked upward from two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. It was this moon, the Quantum Moon, that kept their curiosity alive during this long period of hardship. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became our clan's unified goal to find and visit the Quantum Moon. 
This took time, and many Nomai who dreamed of seeing the quantum moon died before we discovered how to make the journey. When you reach the quantum moon, recall these Nomai and carry their curiosity onward with you. It doesn't tell me anything, though. Welcome, Solanum. Your arrival here means you've completed your preparations on Giant's Deep and are ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. On your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you, just as it carried me and many in our clan before me, to the Moon's sixth and most secret location. You'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine our clan built on the Quantum Moon, but remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the Moon's north pole. Be curious on your journey. doesn't tell me anything. Where is the projection stone here, I wonder? That's the real question. If I could just find the projection stone... could read this conversation here. There's just, yeah, no way to escape it, right? There's no projection stone there. Or if there was, it got flung out into space. I feel like I should have been able to find a projection stone there. Curious. That's going to be where we wrap up this episode. Until next time. Take care.